Hello there, I'm Calum Johns, and welcome to Fun Facts! And back to the EU 101, where I answer your questions, no matter how small they may be, about the Star Wars Expanded Universe, and in specifically, lore. Now this time, I am actually going to be answering the question, how does the Chosen One prophecy work, since Palpatine, or Darth Sidious, the Emperor, returned in 10 ABY. And for those that don't know, that happened in the comic book Dark Empire, which came out in 1991, alongside the Thrawn trilogy, sort of around the same time. And, well, where do I start? I think it's good to start with talking about the Chosen One prophecy in regards to interpretation. Because everyone can interpret the prophecy differently, and so, of course, this video is going to have my interpretation of the prophecy. And, as shown in the prequels, the Jedi at the time already had their own interpretation of the prophecy, where they thought that balance would mean the Sith would be wiped out, and all would be well. But the basic premise of the prophecy is that someone would come to restore balance to the Force. And as we know from George Lucas talking about things, a balance in the Force is in regards to the light side being the major power and holding back the dark side and mediating everything and looking after everything and not to Jedi, to Sith, whatever you want to call it. But if you're going first from the interpretation of literally you've got to have the same number of Jedi and the same number of Sith, well hey, we've got Luke Skywalker and we've got Darth Sidious. Anakin was a chosen one, right? He's the one that is a chosen one confirmed by George Lucas by everyone else. That's just a fact. And so, when you go into this sort of dark empire, sort of thinking of the Emperor returning, it's not a. Pr it doesn't really change his sacrifice. It doesn't really change what he did. Because when. Vader sacrificed himself, or Anakin sacrificed himself, Vader came back to being Anakin, Anakin sacrificed himself in Return of the Jedi, that was still defeating the Emperor and giving more power to Luke to be able to grow stronger as well as the New Republic to come in, because you've got to think, there was not really any Jedi, so the five years between, or five, six years between Return of the Jedi and Dark Empire, I see just gives Luke time to learn more and do everything else. And as far as Dark Empire goes, I think there's a really important step for Luke's learning and growth as well, with all of that. Ah, that's sort of a separate topic. The Chosen One Prophecy, I think it's just not really any different, because once the Emperor is defeated, the Empire becomes the Imperial Remnant. The New Republic starts forming and comes into power. And there's really never the dark side ruling the galaxy again. So that's what really broke that sort of thing. Because of course, if Anakin had not made the choices that he had and become Vader, then the dark side would rule rule the galaxy, whatever would happen. Sidious had contingencies for everything. And Order 66 would have been executed still, and all the Jedi would have been wiped out. But anyway, I think it just doesn't really change it. I don't see how it changes it. Because... Anakin sacrificed himself so that the light side could get the upper hand, and be able to help start sorting the universe out and the galaxy out, the Star Wars galaxy. And that's what happens. He lights out as the upper hand at that moment. And then when you get to the dark side sort of things, well, where the Force exists, 
where power exists, people will use it for evil. And so you need to have a force there to stop people that are going to use the dark side, to be able to keep it in check, and to be able to actually keep order in the universe in its own way. Like, Empire had order, but a sort of an oppressive, tyrannical order compared to what the New Republic has, which is more a democracy and that sort of stuff. Like, when people say that, oh, Sidious comes back from his evaded sacrifice, or Anakin sacrifice, I'm like, no. I don't see it. And I'm sure some people can maybe enlighten me, but the Chosen One prophecy is still there. It's because of Anakin's sacrifice that the light side gets the upper hand and the New Republic comes, the Jedi are formed into the new Jedi Order, the Luke is be a able to become the most powerful Jedi, as per George Lucas's what he said, as well as his feats and everything shown in the EU, which line up with what he said, and everything from there. Even with Luke turning to the dark side for a bit. That's still a learning moment for him, and he moves past it. Although, an interesting thing for another video could be that every person that's brought back to them the dark side needs an anchor, some sort of person to help them bring them back. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. I mean, I don't really have too much more to say, and unless it's a discussion with someone else, that someone that actually believes that it ruined the prophecy of the Chosen One, I can't really think of any other points to address there, because uh, Palpatine coming back, it makes sense to me, and especially since it was before I was born it was released, so it's always existed for me in Star Wars. And so that's just one of the things I'm like, oh yeah, cool, that happened. It doesn't really detract from anything, and I think it actually works really well as a part of showing that Sidious always had the backup plan and Sidious was wanting to live forever and there's plot threads throughout the EU that are just like well Sidious looking into cloning here looking into ways to become immortal because in the end he was looking into what Darth Plagueis had but of course he didn't learn Darth Plagueis' secret to immortality so yeah there's that there's that I'm rambling now but yeah so thank you guys for watching, what do you think about this question and what I've said? I, I feel like it's almost more of a discussion question which I could have with someone. And if someone is wants to come on and present points about why they think that it detracts from the prophecy of the chosen one, then let me know. So yeah, don't forget you can subscribe to see when I put up more EU content. I'll see you in the next video. Hey,